Welcome everybody to Elk Camp 2021. Uh, previous videos, I don't know if you've seen them or not, but uh, <clears throat> the the tent is new. Made one video about it already. I got this last November, of course after a hunting season. So this is my first year uh, setting up camp with this particular model from the Kodiak Canvas Company. This is the Kodiak Canvas cabin tent, the 12 by 12 tent with the front enclosure. Previous videos you may have seen, I was using the uh, Kodiak Canvas lodge tent, which is a 12 by nine and with a similar style of enclosure. So I'm very familiar with the company, uh, very impressed. And this is, I've got a couple of the uh, the Flexbo tent, so this is my fourth Kodiak canvas tent. And not because I keep wearing the other ones out, as they keep making improvements. And this is basically the tent that I wanted all along and uh, they finally made it. So before we go inside, uh, this is the Ozark Trails, uh, two room changing room, shower enclosure. This is my third year with it, uh, previous videos, especially the first year I had it, I wasn't too impressed. You know, I didn't have high hopes for it, but uh, third year and it's still rocking. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am looking to upgrade to a solid roof enclosure. This one has a mesh panel top with a rain fly over it. The reason I want a solid roof is that I want to be able to run a propane heater in there for when it gets colder. So I can still take showers, and but right now with that mesh top, I put a propane heater in there. It's not going to do any good. I get I'll get a little of the radiant heat from it, but most of the heat's just going to escape out of the top. So I'm not even I don't even bother with a heater in there. I already know I've got experience with those arc trail tents with the mesh top. Um, in fact, the first year I ever camped up here was with, with was with one. Uh, the mesh top and it was you know useless. I did put a propane heater in there, Mr. Buddy, uh, portable heater, but uh, yeah, it, it did absolutely nothing. Anyway, uh, back to the tent here. You know we've got a few things. This is the uh, my my shower with a refillable one pound propane bottle that heats it. Again, uh, or I haven't said it yet, but. If you got questions you know send a comment to me or look at my older videos I, I cover some of this stuff uh, mo more in depth so it's I'm not going to rehash it so if you want to know more about it you can ask me a question in the comments or you can go ahead and uh, watch my previous videos one of the upgrades I did do this year is I've got two 100 watt solar panels now for charging uh, because I'm running a rechargeable battery operated refrigerator and we'll, sh we'll see that in a minute and I got the 10 gauge 20 uh, 20 foot extension here and I'm running by the way I'm running those two solar panels in parallel so I'm still getting 12 volts to the uh, appliances in here <clears throat> so but it's nice having the 200 watts there and with the extension cables because now I can charge everything inside instead of having to take stuff outside like I was doing when I was just running 150 watt panel. <coughs> Excuse me. One of the new things I have this year is this three burner uh, camp, camp stove. I upgraded from my two burner uh, Coleman because this has this gives me more cooking surface, gives me another burner, so I can actually use my oven and have no problems fitting on another pan or two uh, to cook other stuff as well. And it wasn't the the deluxe model or nothing like that, but it serves its purpose. I think I spent like $130 on it from Home Depot. This is the battery operated rechargeable cooler um, you can see on sitting on top here is my spare battery and it's plugged into the solar panels right now but it's fully charged it's not charging at all and 
it's sitting at 32 degrees I've actually got it set at 35 and this thing has not come on at all today at all uh, so that's a testament to the insulation inside of it uh, as well as you know the fuller you keep these the better off you are because uh, thermal mass so once you get everything in there cold it really holds the temperature very well but uh yeah no more uh no more there's an ant no more hauling ice for me uh and i don't miss hauling ice at all so and i do have a video on my channel that goes more in depth on that than i'm going to right now so if you want to see more about this uh cooler then go ahead and check my uh, earlier video out anyway this is the uh enclosure now this enclosure is about the same size as the enclosure for the lodge tent the 12 by 9 but the material it's made out of is the same cotton canvas that the tents made out of so it's a much heavier duty uh, enclosure as well as being a much tighter fit uh, this actually you know there's no sagging here so it, it keeps out more of the uh, the weather than the uh, enclosure for the 12 by 9 so it, it, it is definitely an upgrade now with that being said you know you could buy a spare another enclosure for the 12 by 9 uh, lodge tent for roughly a hundred dollars this enclosure is three hundred dollars so if you need to replace it it's gonna be three hundred bucks but it, you know again it comes with the poles and the awning see now the awning on the 12 by 9 lodge tent uh, if you order you have to order the deluxe uh, lodge tent in order to be able to use the uh, enclosure because the awning comes sewn to the 12 by 9 tent if you don't buy the deluxe then you don't have the awning and having an enclosure really isn't going to do anything for you so but this one the awning comes with the enclosure instead of coming with the tent so you can order just the tent by itself and uh, you won't you won't have the awning you won't get the awning until you order the enclosure set up so that's one of the reasons it's three hundred dollars as well besides the fact that it being made out of uh, canvas instead of polyester or nylon or whatever synthetic material the uh, lodge tent enclosure was made out of anyway enough about that let's go ahead and head inside here so like I said this is a 12 by 12 uh, the 12 by 9 of course is 108 square feet and this is 100, 144 square feet and so it's 36 square feet larger uh, or basically a 3 by 12 uh, enlargement or, or larger size than 12 by 9 and you know 36 square feet may not sound like a lot and it's really not however when you consider that it is 25 percent bigger with a 36 square feet added than the 12 by 9 then you know it puts it more in perspective and i cannot overstate the uh the the improvement or the the you know the more room that you have with the 12 by 12 with just 36 square feet more and i've measured it out this 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 set of disco beds here is seven feet long and if i wanted to now this is the extra wide set so if i took that that uh locker off the back there i could fit another extra large bunk bed set right here in this space along this wall up to the you know and still have plenty of room between the furnace or excuse me the wood stove and the the bunk bed without having a danger of anything catching a fire and then if i wanted to i could put another set of bunk beds right here along this wall probably the narrower set and so basically comfortably uh you could put six people in here uh with these bunk bed cots these disco beds which is a vast improvement over the 12 by 9 12 by 9 no there's no way uh, you would be able to fit in fact if you look at my video from last year it shows two sets of these uh, disco beds in there and that's it I mean uh, you, there, you there's no way to fit anything else or another set in there but with this 12 by 12 you can definitely for sure 
put in three sets of these bunks. No problem whatsoever. Another nice feature about this tent is this center ridge or the center pole here, which uh, is for uh, holding up the top, the, 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 the ceiling or the roof in case of a heavy snow load. <clears throat> and then one of the things I added to it are these hooks. Uh, these did not come with the tent. I got them off of the Amazon. So, uh, and, and I think they're called like tent pole hooks or something like that. I can't remember. Just, you know, search around and you, you can find them. Um, I like hanging my lantern off of there, which I got off of Amazon as well. You know, a little bit about that lantern. Uh, it's rechargeable, but then when the rechargeable batteries go dead, it also takes C cell batteries and it automatically switches over to the C cell batteries when the rechargeable battery goes dead. So that that's a really nice feature and again that's on Amazon I think I paid around thirty dollars for it and anyway the hooks are nice um, cause I can hang that lantern up high or I can hang it low for when I go to bed and when I'm ready to close my eyes I'll shut that lantern off and I just reach over and do it from the bunk and it gives me a place to clip my fan in case it is warm uh, it's a nice little 12 volt fan you can pick them up at any truck stop and I run it off of my Yeti uh, Goal Zero Yeti 150 charging my phone right now uh, nice thing about the those 200 watts of panels and it'll charge this thing up real quick no problem and you know 50 watt panel did a pretty decent job it, it this thing will go from dead to fully charged in, in probably less than two hours with 200 watts so definitely an improvement and like I said now I can charge it inside instead of taking it out and uh, I didn't have the uh, extension wires or the, the the cables the 20 foot length the cables like I do now anyway um, that's about it Get now I've got room for uh, seating area which is nice and you know it, this, this tent is this is styling and profiling this is heads and shoulders above and beyond uh, the 12 by 9 as far as I'm concerned as far as comfort goes and, and having room um, got the wood stove in but don't really have it uh, have it strung up with the flu and whatnot and I don't anticipate actually needing it I just I put it in here for the sake of this video just so you guys could see but uh, I've got this propane heater here I'm gonna make a separate video about that so I won't talk about it a lot but uh, that propane heater is more than ample unless it gets you know negative below zero Fahrenheit here uh, next month I won't need this wood stove at all in here and I think that's about it um, one other thing I did buy this year uh, that's pretty neat is these lights the string of LED lights here that I've got going around got them off of Amazon and uh, they run off of DC they plug into like that goal zero with the USB plug here and uh, they're actually pretty bright you know they light up this area really nice I'm thinking about getting another set so I can string along here and up along this rafter as well uh, but that's just because I'm one of those guys as far as I'm concerned you can never have enough light but uh, with this strand here it gives me ample light to be able to see by but it would be nice to have another strand so basically that's it uh, you know if you enjoyed the video like you know subscribe again you know I'm not trying to make money off of this I would do this and own this stuff regardless of whether I made videos on it or not I'm not gonna beg you for money from patreon uh, I buy all this stuff myself and this is just a shot anyway uh, while I talk of the surrounding area but uh yeah if you like and subscribe to the videos and get my viewership up the one thing i would not be adverse to to procuring would be sponsors sponsors would be nice you know the more viewers i get and the more hours watched the more apt i am to get offers of sponsorship and people send me you know stuff to try out and make videos about so there's that so that's why I'm asking you know to give me a thumbs up and and uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. But basically that's it. Uh, 
happy Labor Day to everybody and uh, hope to put some animals down soon. Have a great hunting season. See ya.